intrusive, invasive, and just downright creepy neighbors in a South Florida community say their HOA could stand to be a bit more um, MIA. Yeah, tonight, Laren shows us it's a lesson anyone in an HOA could learn from. This is where we live, and it's not right. Lloyd Havel lives at the hills of Inverary in Lauder Hill, a private community, and called me after getting a call from his HOA. Cars expired and, and uh, in disrepair. I'm like, cars not in disrepair, I drive it, and uh, ex uh, the tags are expired. So I said, okay, fine. Lloyd tells me he bought a new car and moved the old one outside, covered it until he could decide what to do with it which prompted another question and call to the HOA. Oh, that's fine, we'll go ahead and you know move the car, do that, that's not really a problem, but how did you even know that? He's like, oh well, we went up and we, uh, we uncovered your car and we, 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 we searched on your car. And I was like, you did what? Lloyd's next call was to Lauder Hill Police to report the incident. He also started talking to the neighbors who had their own stories, storage bins opened and rummaged through on their patios. This 2014 police report was made after a woman claimed a worker broke into her screened in patio. Actually went and slid open the screen, reached inside, found the lock for the door, broke in. To use an electrical outlet. That worker claimed the okay was given by the same property manager police talked to in Lloyd's incident who says he spotted Lloyd's parked covered car with a flat tire. The property manager says Lloyd's driveway is a limited common area, meaning he's allowed to access it, and said the disabled covered car violated the association's rules, so he lifted the cover, noted the expired tag, and then called Lloyd. That's the scary part about it. These are the ones that we know about. How many more that we don't know about? The bigger issue is, why are you doing this? And we feel it's kind of creepy. I was given the same letter Lloyd got from his HOA's lawyers, which cited Lloyd's driveway as a common element that the association must be able to access and that Lloyd has no right to privacy from the association identifying a car parked in a driveway. It's a balancing act. Kenneth Lewis practiced HOA in condo law and now teaches it. He says HOAs don't have unfettered rights to do what they want. What happened oftentimes is that members of the board overreach in their zeal to do the right thing. And he says homeowners' rights in an HOA are not absolute. That's when the rules have to be clear to and for everyone. They are seeking here to have the condominium docs uh, modified and to be specific, as we discussed about what the, they can, what they can they and do, and, and, and the procedures for giving notice, the procedures for inspection, etc. And that's that's the right step. Lloyd has since collected dozens of signatures from his neighbors to address those concerns and those rules. We find it invasive. We, we do not feel safe. One will certainly be watching because we're told those neighbors are now raising money, thousands of dollars, for the legal battle they anticipate is coming. So we'll definitely keep you posted. We know you will. Laren, thank you. Do you have a problem you want to leave to Laren? Send an email to Laren. At local10.com, that is spelled L-A-Y-R-O-N at local10.com.